we are riding games I want you to set up down but I don't. back into Winchester. I was just there 20 minutes ago, actually. They got very nice parking garages all over that place. You get to pay just to park overnight and you sleep in your car right there. No one would even know you're up there. There's so many levels. I have to go west on 7. That takes you Route 7. It takes you from here all the way back to DC. It's good to, to know about this right here. This is exciting. Okay. This is all I need. I will go to work right along here. Make some money all during the month of June. But right now it's still May. So therefore, I am on vacation for the uh, for as long as possible. I'm gonna see if I could extend it. Just just because I'm so so like so selfish. Want to take all my vacation all at once, uh, and then go back along Route Seven East down into Springfield, Virginia, make some money. <laughs> They thought I left, probably. I didn't even tell anybody. They, they should have figured I was going to do this. What was it, some big mystery? I was about to take my vacation. It was kind of yeah, a, little, a little bit of a... Not, not really gossip or anything, but... We were discussing several options. Meet me and a couple of co-workers. This one dude, he told me he wanted to find a cheap-ass place to just go live there and be roommates. <laughs> I could take him up on the offer. I don't think I remember his number. I wrote down a few phone numbers. I may be able to come up with something. And heck, I find I've, I, as I was passing through Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, this dude, as I was pumping my gas, I saw him. He had this motorized bicycle, exactly just like mine, except it was 26 inch, not 700 C. Which, by the way, I'm gonna build both of those. I want both. I like the way a, a nice road bike feel. I like how a thick aluminum mountain bike or, or anything, anything at all. I'm gonna get a cruiser too. I might as well get the whole deal. What else did I wanna, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna build the motorboat with the old engine that almost killed me. And that's like in the shed. As soon as I get that, I'll try to put a propeller on it. Get a canoe. Maybe I can do it in a kayak. Uh, and then, what, I, what, what else is on my bucket list, guys? Like, like, I'm definitely gonna get into paramotoring. That's where you put the propeller on, on a backpack and you wear it. And then you got a sail. You, just, you glide through, like a, you get, you get like a, it's, it's like a parachute, or a, not really, a glider. And, but then you get, you, self-propelled just with like a little same kind of two-stroke gas engine I love those little things they, they seem pretty useful I've never even used a weed whacker or a lawnmower in my life practically like like only electric power tools they used to run a, a laundry machine on some some kind of a gas motor Believe it or not, then they came out with with alternating current. Like that was a long time ago. That, that was ancient technology. They figured it out, dude. Wish I was back back in those times. They could use me back then. I'm, I'm a smart guy. <laughs> so I figured, like like check out the place first ride around Virginia a couple hours before I even have to be up at this place 
it's a one bedroom and one bath, but like shared bathroom. Luxury house. It's not even an apartment. And I, I, I guess they'll just let me live there. Long driveway, let me park right there. I may not get any garage space. I don't care. Uh, I, I got 700 square feet to, to like spread out. That's what they advertise. It's so funny to me, like half of the stuff on Craigslist is trash. It's just, it's not even made by a human being. It's, it's like computer generated. It looks like it. You can just tell. Uh, it's easy to see any kind of an advertisement, any web page, anything. You can see whether or not it's legitimate if you know what to look for. Just, just by the, uh, the wording, the language that they use, and the pictures, uh, obviously, if it looks like like questionable, then just like forget about it. <laughs> Look somewhere else. You'd be better off sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. You would. I might do that later tonight, actually. <laughs> Depending on how things go. Like like what I did. I looked at some of the neighborhoods that, that are nearby the place. At first, just had to figure out how to drive around, how to navigate the Winchester area, because I'm so new. Although I've been blowing through gas since I came here as much as I could. I, I, I got plenty of rest last night, though. I, I did at least get eight, eight hours, and that was pretty good. <laughs> what a, a quick stoplight. Maybe uh, use my brake. I have a good brake, uh, um, a hydraulic. Wish I had that sort of thing on a bicycle. Because cables tend to snap all the time. Just gotta whip down to Winchester. Back. I gotta be there at 1 p.m. today. Check the place out. See, before I even like set anything up, I'll keep everything right here in my truck and then drift around maybe for like a month though until I like fully move into the have to know the people that live there first, right? It seems to me like I don't know anything about who's there but at least they're literate because the advertisement look better than any of the other ones I see just looking around for the past week it's still up there too hope no one else grabs it I bet there's like a bunch of people trying to go there dude how many people do you think are wanting to move in if, if there's like 10 I'd definitely be on the top of that list but 50 of them or something that would be too many <laughs> This is a small world, and Winchester is like, everybody down here it seems like they might know each other by name. It's, 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 it's in that type of a, well, it's, it's a little bit big, uh, half as big as the place where I'm from, or maybe smaller. So maybe, uh, in the downtown place though, on each block, people probably know each other there townhomes, but I'm going to live in a house. It's, that's just because I can afford to do this. I didn't even see any cheaper places looking around there. Well, I did see some. For half of the price that I'm going to go, like, in a house. I'm going to a house, guys. That, like, it's because that's where I would end up anyway. Why bother um, trying to like go on a budget well that, that's what I've been doing just for the vacation then after that I won't be on vacation and so I, I can go right along Route 7 on this and this Springfield just like 
probably just like I'm supposed to. Why would I leave? Uh, then I came up with an idea last night. What if I just go like like park, park around? <coughs> Where can I leave a car unattended if I have no valuables in it? Why wouldn't I be able to do that? It's a cheap ass. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up with something better pretty soon, actually. Uh, first, I'm gonna build the bicycle. Uh, that's like kind of something that I know how to work on a little bit easier. I know exactly how to build everything on that. Just from what I've, just just from building one. You build one of those and you learn like tons of stuff. <laughs> just about how they work and what to do to it so it doesn't get you stranded. How to, how to keep it running well and how to replace things when they as soon as they break. Like everything like that. Think especially mechanical stuff on it. Oh, the whole thing is 90% moving parts. That is what a two-stroke engine really is. It, it doesn't have much else. Uh, it could it could go it could leak. You could have hot burning hot exhaust gases. of uh, the quality of how, how luxury you know it seems to me like even in Frederick I came across that nice little Chinese restaurant that was cool though I didn't go hungry yesterday just because I did that it costed a lot yeah food is expensive now well, whose fault is that I didn't vote you can't blame me I, I am not Democrat I'm not Republican, bipartisan, none of that. I don't participate in the, like the political aspect because why would I? There's no need to <laughs> go go like like pick a pick a side. What are we in a civil war? I thought we already went through that. Like this is supposed to be the greatest country in the world. Or it's an experimental democracy, is what it is. It's probably not going to stick around for like, 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 do you think, is America going to last even a hundred more years? Maybe. It d depends. Like, 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 it is what you make it. <laughs> it is, if, if you want it to last that long, then, then make it last. Go do, do something about it. J join, uh, join up with pick a side. <laughs> Not me though, like, like I'm a peaceful guy. I just wanted to come out here to like do my thing out in like, 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 uh, along the valley in, in between the mountain but in the bottom. Shenandoah River is just near, right along here. I'll go to, what I'll do later today if I don't decide on getting back to DC, which I don't have any business right there, and right now I'm on vacation, I don't have to be there. Uh, I can go. Sky Meadows State Park is like pretty close, and plenty of parking. I saw it on the Google map. It is, it is like the destination for like for later. I need a, a place to set up at least. I got a lawn chair. I'm gonna set up a little uh, camp out just for like a night, one night. Cause I got this propane stove and like a bag of coffee. If I have a way to transport some water, all I need is a jug, right? Get, got milk out here. Uh, <laughs> actually, the milk has gone bad, folks. Sure has. I really, what I gotta do is, uh, chuck it. Ain't, 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 no, ain't no one want, want to deal with this. This is too, too far gone, folks. Check it out, y'all. I got it. Oh, yeah. That's just 
how we do it around here down, down in Virginia. The milk is a little cheaper, I suppose. And like, like along the mountain. I've seen a lot of cows actually out here. Dairy farms are probably nearby. I would imagine they, they pasteurize the milk also and like everything like that. Ew, look at the mess I made. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry folks about the long ass light. I'm still chilling. <laughs> I wonder who saw me do that. <laughs> this is biodegradable, right? Who cares? It's, it's no different than a bird shit. It's just like a big puddle. <laughs> oh wow. What what are you freaks gonna be mad about? Oh the environment. Okay. Well GMO or homogenized or what do they call it? No artificial growth hormone. So then that means it's biodegradable? It doesn't Oh, haha. <laughs> Small little uh Yeah, like my windshield was a little foggy. <laughs> Didn't know, didn't know that it was like time. What a long light, right? <laughs> Shoot. So like, where's Leesburg from here though? I'm trying to find where, looks like I, oh, I meant to say Winchester. <laughs> look, look, we got, it, it's on a, it's along one of these. I can't tell you exactly like where it is. It's in the area, you know? I'm living out here now. I already moved in and I haven't even seen the place. <laughs> Why do people want to go speeding out here? It's red, wet and rainy and so like, this isn't Route 7 though, what did we just turn it on to? I wasn't even seeing. So, there, there was like Jim Barnett Park. This is a little place to go walk your dog. It's right over here. I can see it came through earlier. Oh, so then this is Sensony Road. It's like, it's some kind of a route Take, takes you east and west. No, it says Pleasant Valley. Oh, okay. Okay, then. So that's where we're at. Just, just trying to think of like north, south, east, and west. The place is built on a little bit of a slope, but it's kind of rolling, rolling hills all throughout Winchester. You, the downtown area is the only place I'm really familiar with. It's, it's just laid out like a checkerboard, just like any other place would be. Easy enough to navigate. You have like like Cameron Street, West Street, East Street, Loudon Street, and then Braddock Street to go north and south. Kent Street also. Then along uh, along going lateral east and west sideways, there is a whole bunch to separate. And I must be on one of those right now, so which means I can turn to head into the city a little bit. Unless it's like just over there. I don't really remember. <laughs> Pleasant Valley though, that, that sounds like something that would be north of Winchester or south of Winchester, not east and west of it. It's one of those types. Like, the street name, the names on the streets are so tiny out here. I'm not saying I have any vision problem, but it's a little rainy. and run right through the, the place. I haven't seen a train yet. They must come really... Like, like how many of them would you think go through? There's no, no real industry out, 
it's a touristy place. The only revenue they get here is probably mostly from like horse farms. Uh, I don't know what else. Archery. I, I have no idea. Like, like what do they do in Winchester, Virginia? Government stuff, maybe. Just a couple of offices. Museum. Well, I don't know if that's very popular. People would rather just come out here to the McDonald's. Yeah, now I know where I'm at. Folks, you know what? I have been walking like all morning, or no, like last night. I spent all night walking around the whole town of Winchester looking for this McDonald's here. Couldn't even remember how to get to it. It's just way south of the downtown area. This is like the number one location. It's closer than the Walmart. And I'm planning to take a fat thing. I'm gonna do my thing. Like, I'm gonna make it, it's, it's gonna be a substantial, it's tangible. Number two, done at the Mickey D's. Well, what else do you expect of uh, someone living in a Jeep out in Virginia? What would, What else would they really do? Uh, park my ass right here. I take my sweet ass time in there too, like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get release my demons right here at the McDonald's. That that's what my my life has been reduced to. to the gym yesterday actually I rode uh, the simulation the the boat the, the ergometer it's a it's a simulated rowboat and that's that's a lot of fun I feel like I, I could use the gym for more than just showering and getting on the erg what else could I do there hmm I just don't want to get on a stationary bike. Like the whole concept of a stationary bicycle doesn't make sense to me. The, it, like if you're riding, then you get so much wind in your face. It cools your body off. It changes the whole experience just because of your body temperature. When you get on a stationary bike, you, you start just dr dripping. You get drenched in your own sweat. It's disgusting. There's no even, not even any need for that. Like, like if you're sweating while you're working hard, you're not doing something right. You, you gotta like change what you're wearing to be more comfortable. And if that doesn't work, then find somewhere that's like a different temperature. Like really though, it's not not difficult. Out here, it's like pleasant. The the uh, the climate, although it's cold and rainy this week, next week it'll be warm and sunny. Yeah, it's probably a great place to to, to grow vegetables, or you, you could have corn out here. Like, like think of the implications. Solar energy is probably good enough. Uh, not not all the time though. What I wanted to do, I actually went to the Walmart. I got yesterday a sealed lead acid 12 volt battery it's it already comes charged up I just felt like having a spare battery out here just in case I need electricity because I do have wire and I will solder the wire to the battery like right onto the terminals permanently attach it to it charge it up alligator clips whatever that I need then use like like from the wires to attach it to radios and sirens audio amplifiers and coils of wire transmitters and all of this all of this complicated stuff that you don't even know how it works i don't even know how it works a hundred percent yet i'm moist andy have a nice time bye bye it's me bye bye youtube